Hey, what's up interwebs? I'm that toy guy and today I'm going to be taking a look at the Transformers the movie 2007 deluxe class brawl. So, here he is and I don't have the original box because I bought this guy used yesterday at a comic book shop. But he did come with his instruction booklet which has the actual bio. So, if you want to read it, there it is. There are his tech specs, all his crap that he can do, his product shots and those aren't painted in that color and the barrel's not painted on the actual toy, the Decepticon logo's not there, these aren't painted, um, what else is not painted that's painted on this? That's about it really. And then there are the instructions on the back. So, now it's on the floor. So here is Brawl and there's a story behind this figure. I used to have this. I got this from the first movie line when I lived in Australia. And it was the one that had the AllSpark blue on it. And I love that one. That that was my second movie toy that I ever got. My first one being Jazz. But yeah, I love that toy. And um, then when I moved back here to Canada, I uh, donated it to the Canadian Diabetes Association. And I kind of missed it. Like a lot because this is a good figure. So I was at a comic book shop yesterday selling some things and I just happened to see one of these and it was a really 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 good price so I picked it up and I'm so happy that I did. So this is Brawl and he is a tank and just to get in close here so you can see some of the details this guy has. If my camera will cooperate, never cooperate. There you go. So you got some nice rivets and tread detail and the camo paint. Camo paint job looks nice on this. I just wish that they painted the barrel as well. You got some nice um, molded in detail up here. I have no idea what these are supposed to be. So, yeah. You do have some more vents and grates and gas cans. and On the front here, you got the hatches. You have visible head syndrome. No matter which way you turn it, you will always see the head. You got the hatch there as well for the top gun sides. You drop it, that's a thing you can do. He does have the mine sweeping claws at the front. I think those are what those are for. You have the nice uh, treads. You can see most of the robot. I mean, if you lift this up, there's the rest of them. So, yeah. Now, this, this part here doesn't tab in very well. You get the barrel tabs into the actual tank. You have to push really, really hard on it, then it's fine. Now for rotation on this guy, these are on ball joints and swivel and a secondary hinge here but that's more for transformation. This rotates a full 360 and this entire turret rotates a full 360 degrees which is great to see on a deluxe. The only problem is it doesn't go up and down which I wish it could and they probably could have engineered that somewhere in here. And these are on ball joints you can put them however you like. I usually just like putting them this way because I think that looks cool. But yeah, he's a he's a he's a tank. He's a deluxe figure. He is a deluxe tank. I don't know what much you could say about this. It does fire a missile. Pew. Fires one of these. Yes, I have to. Let's let's get the Magna Guard out here. Haven't done this in a while. Pew. There he goes. It's just a missile. Cast in some red plastic made to look like an energy bolt. So yeah, I'm so glad I found this guy with the missile, because the missile, I I actually found my old Brawl's missile the other day, which means that I had lost it previously and donated it incomplete, and I feel bad. But anyway, here he is, and for comparison, here he is next to Skydive. So, with the barrel, he's a little bit longer than Skydive. I dropped the camera. That was that was that was bad. Wow. Um, I've been doing this for a while, guys. Don't worry. I'm just kidding. Uh, here he is next to another tank former that I own. Here's Hailstorm, the only other tank former that I own. As you can see, Hailstorm is a lot shorter. But he does have a turret that can raise and lower, 
which I think is one up on Brawl, because Brawl can't do that. And here he is next to his movie buddy, Bone Crusher. As you can see, I don't think that's the scale. Because I mean, if that's a hatch, that's supposed to that's supposed to fit a person, and that's a driver's side door. I don't. I think this should be a little bigger. Luckily, we did get a bigger figure of this, but we never got a bigger figure of this. I'm still mad about that. So, yeah, overall this tank looks really, really, really nice. And I forget what model of tank it is, so don't bother asking me. I think, um, Caked Up put it in his review of the leader class figure. He said what kind of tank this was. So, yeah, transformation. So, the first thing you want to do for that is you want to take the tank barrel and fold it up. That'll take the entire tank top turret piece, again that's a lot of T's, and fold it up. Then you want to take these side panels here and just bring them out like so. There you go. Then you want to take this top section here and this automorph never works for me. You just The treads are supposed to swing all the way up and the head's supposed to swing all the way out when you pull this down. But when I do that, that happens. So you just bring it up the rest of the way flip them up like this and take these bits and just fold them down like so split the legs at this hinge here you want to fold it out like that take the feet and fold them forward take the gas cans and rotate them around to form heel spurs and this is not in the instructions but you want to take these side sections here and push them out just like that they're on a hinge so they'll slide up and out and when going back into tank mode, you just slide them, shift them down and forward. So yeah, that's not mentioned in the instructions. So Then you want to stand them up. Then twist them around and rotate this whole entire section. Rotate this turret here. Actually, you know what? This can come off, so I'll do that right now. It's just easier to show off. Take this black section here and just push it until it clicks into place. And I'll show you how to do the arms here. You don't have to pull it off, it's just easier for me to, to demonstrate on camera. So you want to take the uh, tank barrel here at the front and bend it down. Then you want to take these two side panels here, fold them out, just like that. Take the tank barrel and just rip it out and out comes the arm. Then orient this panel so that this peg faces the inside here. And just rotate the arm around. Take the tank barrel shift it up till it clicks and then rotate it around 180 degrees. Do the same on this side where you pull this arm out with the peg facing inwards and just fold out the blade. Then come back here, rotate this section, pull this out, rotate that black missile pod and fold it up. Do the same on this side here. Then you want to take brawl and clip it back on. You know, then what you do is you bring this down and push it into place then these tabs are supposed to tab into those ports there they just they never work properly so I just like hold them in there for quite a while and then they'll stay and then there you have brawl ladies and gentlemen in his robot mode he's looking down and this is just this is just awesome this is just an awesome looking deluxe figure. Very, very accurate. He does have some kibbly bits here and the tank barrel is a huge piece of kibble just hanging off his arm. Because I mean in the movie, when he transforms, when he transforms, the, the this turret just kind of like folds into his back and you never see it ever again. Come on, Decepticon, talk. shoulders aren't staying tabbed in. That's my one major problem with this figure is that the shoulders, when you go to move the arms, they'll just come right off. Like, look at this. That didn't even take much force. It just comes out. So I'll probably stick some plastic resin in there and just fix it up. But, yeah. So there's Brawl. And he looks cool. Detail-wise, he's got a lot. I'll show that off in a second. Just get on the head sculpt here.
Look at that ugly mug of his. You got the nice gold and the silver with the uh, light piping, which I'll show off right now. Let's just turn all of my major lights off here and get the black light going. Whoa, look at that. That is cool. That is creepy. And that is awesome. His missile also light pipes pretty well. So, yeah. So overall, detail-wise, this guy's nice. He's got the treads up here. You got the mine sweeping claws at the front. Moving the torso does expose some silver paint here and some black. You got some more black on the crotch there. You got some silver, some gold actually. You got some more gold here on the legs and some nice sculpted detail. And the feet are just cast in black. He does have the treads just hanging off his legs, but I do like how they molded some detail into those hinges just so that they don't look as ugly. Which I think is awesome. The arms are nice and painted too. Like they look super accurate to the movie. With the gold and the black here. And this weird blade that he never uses. Because this arm just gets completely removed by Ratchet. And yeah. Back of the figure is just all tank mode bits. So yeah this thing is pretty awesome. I do quite enjoy it a lot. Now. Articulation wise, the head's on a ball joint. It's very limited. It can do a full 360. But that doesn't really accomplish much because when he goes to look to the side, there's a there's a tread in his way. You have to move it, so it's kinda dumb. Uh, arms are on ball joints, shoulders, sorry. They can go forward and backward and out. He does have a bicep swivel, and that just came off. That's on a ball joint if you want to use that in any way. Elbow does bend only about that far. No wrist swivel, so he's got the gorilla arms. And these weapons can rotate, which is nice. <sighs> Nothing at the waist. Hips are on ball joints, no thigh swivel. Legs can go in and out on that joint if you want. They can bend 90 degrees there at the knee. And the toes can pivot down. Wow, that ball joint just got really loose when I did that. And the heels can swivel. I don't know if that serves any purpose. But oh well. He does have his trademark machine gun from the movie. Which is awesome. And I wish the barrel could come off. Seems like it's supposed to. Wait. Can it? Hold on. Hang on. Oh, never mind. The barrel does come off. Wow, I just discovered something new. Bye bye kibble, there you go. Well, I mean, some of it's still left, but the barrel comes off. Is that in the instructions? Let's see if that's in the instructions. It's not in the instructions. But there you go, you can. You can remove the barrel. So, yeah. Oh, I see, it's just two little nubs that plug into here. That's, oh, that's awesome. Does this still work? Yes, it still works. That is, that is so cool. Wow, and there's storage for that, too. Wow, does this, like... There we go. Haha, -ha. there we go. That looks so much better now. Oh, man, I'm so glad I found that. Okay, there. Ignore my previous statement saying the cannon is ki well. I mean, there's still a little bit of it, a, a little bit of it left, but it does come off, so you can you can do that. But yeah, after that little bit of a shock, for comparison, here he is with skydive. As you can see, skydive is like a head taller than brawl. And here he is with his movie buddy, Bone Crusher. He's taller than Bone Crusher. Bone Crusher is quite short. He's about Hailstorm's height. I don't want to transform Hailstorm because his hips are getting loose, so I have to fix those. And here he is with the person who kills him. <sighs> There's Bumblebee. Here he is next to Bumblebee. They don't scale. 
I'd say the Legends version, maybe if they made a version, a Legends version that was this tall, that would scale with Bumblebee and Brawl, but this Bumblebee just doesn't scale well. And just if you want to know, here he is next to a Titan Master. Just, just because he's Nucleon's just sitting here. So yeah, overall, I really like this thing. And you have to buy it. I'd say buy this thing. Again, if you're a movie collector, buy it. If you're just a Transformers collector but you don't like the movies, this is a pretty good brawl considering he keeps his original vehicle form of being a tank. Not a lot of Transformers did that. I mean, the only few that I can think of off the top of my head are Optimus Prime, Brawl, Mixmaster, um, Long Haul, um, well, Hightower, but Hightower was a Decepticon, so that, that kind of defeats the purpose there. Overlord, no. Um, Trying to think of any demolished demolisher looked really 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 different. But yeah, he's one of the few figures uh, characters sorry that actually keeps their original vehicle mode from G1, which I find to be amazing. And thank you, Michael Bay, for doing that because I cannot see Brawl being anything else other than a tank. Maybe a bulldozer, but that's about it. Because this is just he's cool, he's big, he's beefy, and he gets the job done. So that has been my look at the Transformers, the movie 2007 Deluxe Class Brawl, and I'm that toy guy, and stay tuned for my next video.